For YouTube Giving Week 2018, Psych2Go has partnered with the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. Stick around until the end of the video to see how you can help fund a better understanding of various brain and behavior disorders, including depression. Depression and mental illnesses are different for everyone. With this list, we are not trying to generalize. Instead, we've compiled certain things individuals with depression have disclosed they struggle with. Here are eight things people with depression would like their family and friends to understand. One, it's not as simple as eating healthier and exercising more. While we really appreciate you trying to help us, the underlying condition isn't always solved that easily. It still feels like your feelings are being invalidated if things aren't phrased carefully. Two, it's not always easy to understand why things are this way. Depression doesn't always have a specific trigger. It just happens. It's more complicated than just feeling sad because we got a bad grade. Assumptions like this are diminishing our experiences. Sometimes there's no emotion. Sometimes there's too much. It often isn't very clear why either. We'd like to understand it better ourselves, but depression can make you feel a wide variety of confusing things. Three, it's not your fault. There's no one single factor that causes depression. It's an illness. Certain things can contribute to it, but it's nobody's fault. Four, it's not that we're not trying hard enough. No one wants to have depression. Telling us that we're not trying hard enough when we are in fact trying our hardest is dismissing our struggle, and it's very hurtful. Five, we can't just snap out of it. If it was possible to simply get over it, we would have done it a long time ago. It's not a mood that you can come out of when you're done. Six, we don't want to hurt others. We hate to feel like an annoyance because of our illness. We don't want to cause the people around us pain because of what we're going through. 7. We feel like a burden. Reassurance might not magically solve our depression, but it can help us open up the better feelings. We need validation that we're not an annoyance to be able to relax around you. 8. We truly appreciate your efforts. We notice you trying to help us and we are very grateful. Reaching out to us is always a ray of light, but please remember, we aren't asking you to fix us. For YouTube Giving Week 2018, a donate button has been enabled on this video. If you would like to support the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation, you may do so by pressing the donate button. Please do not feel pressure to make monetary donations, as even just liking the video and sharing it to others will be great. 100% of every dollar donated for research is invested in their research grants, which funds the most innovative ideas in neuroscience and psychiatry. It helps better understand the causes and develop new ways to treat brain and behavior disorders. These illnesses include depression, ADHD, anxiety, PTSD, OCD, autism, bipolar disorder, and much, much more. Please check out our link below to learn more about the Brain and Behavior Foundation. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of our lovely Psych2Go community. Thank you.